Hello everyone, Zack Nighthawk flying into this space once again with another episode of Pokemon Emerald! In the last episode, we got HMO one cut, and more importantly, we got a new full-time team member, Whismur. Now, we're about to challenge the Rustboro City Gym and its leader, Roxanne. This is a rock-type gym. So, Whismur, you do not do well against rock-type Pokemon, so you're coming out of the lead. Flipper, you're in the lead. Trumish, you're on deck. Let's enter. Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer, not me, but I can but I can sure give you some winning advice. That that's settled then. We'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers. And that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader, is a user of Rock-type Pokémon. The Rock-type is very durable, but it can't stand Water-type and Grass-type moves. Come see me afterwards if you beat the gym leader. Well, go for it! Alright. Let's challenge you. Don't take us gym, gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better. This was back when gym where gym leader battles were actually hard. <laughs> okay, so you got a Geo, dude. Seen seen these plenty of times in the last episode. Flipper grew to level 13. And youngster Josh, get out of my way. You are too good for me. Hmm, so we gotta go around it. Good thing this exists. Hmm. Hmm. Do I want to do the double battle? Hmm. Sure, why not? If you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. We might be in the middle of town, but so what? My rock Pokemon need room to rampage! Got ourselves a double battle. Youngster Tommy and Hiker Mark want to battle. Geodude and Geodude. <laughs> level 8 and level 8. I can tell you that that is a far cry from, from what Roxanne has to offer. Hey. There goes one. In comes another. Two down, two left. They're all Geo, dude. Ah! A critical hit. Let's go. Give me your soul! Oh, what? Really? <laughs> so I won't take any damage after all. Very nice. Flipper grew to level 14! Shroomish gained 73 experience points and grew to level 13. We beat both Youngster Tommy and Hiker Mark. Wow, you got some potential! 
Oh man, oh man, our challenger is one feisty customer! Thankfully, there is a way around them. And at the same time, a way to the gym leader. And for that, I'm gonna put Shroomish in the front. Gym leaders always have a potion on them. Pretty strong one at this point in the game, relative to, well, obviously relative to the point of the game. So, I'm gonna start with my, uh, with my lesser, more effective option first. Well, more effective against uh, rock types, obviously, but let's go. Hello, I am Roxanne, the Rustbro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? The best gym leader music in the history of this series, in my opinion. Leader Roxanne would like to battle. That chorus is such an eargasm, I'm telling you right now. You know what? Lead Seed. Fine then. Absorb. With defense curl. Ah, that's fine by me. All right. Back to full health. Eh, she'll heal. Well, th this is going perfectly. She's gonna heal him on this turn. Perfect. Wow. That worked out perfectly. I got her to waste that potion on Geodude because up next is her star Pokemon. 220 experience points. Well, actually, no, she has... Oh, right. In this game, she has three Pokemon. She has two in Ruby and Sapphire. She has two Geodudes, okay. Please. Oh, she has two potions on her. Well, even better. That way she won't have to use any on her star Pokemon. The one that comes out last. Because in Ruby and Sapphire, her Geodude is level 14. But her star Pokemon is always level 15, and it is... After Shroomish grows to level 14, that is. Her signature Pokemon is Nosepass, a very defensive Pokemon. It got a... Well, in this game, Nosepass isn't that great. It's a... It, all it does is wall, but... In Gen 4, it got a... Pretty decent evolution in Provo Pass, which becomes a Steel Rock type, whereas Nose Pass is just a normal. It's just no, not normal Rock type. It's just a plain old Rock type. I got a little plan for you. I am so glad Stealth Rock did not exist at this point in the series. I have to wait one more generation for that. Get blocked. Your funeral, Nosepass. Or Roxanne. Oh, jeez. 
You can't stop the seeding. This thing cannot attack for anything. Oh, that's right, it has an orange berry on it. The more health you regain, the more it goes to me. <laughs> well, technically, I... I that, well, in a way. Haha, <laughs> effect spore. I got you right where I want you, Roxanne. She's by far and away the easiest gym leader in this game. And they don't get any easier after this. I mean... I think the sixth gym battle is actually a little bit more straightforward. Six and seven are pretty straightforward, but... Every, everyone else is... Yeah. Alright. My Shroomish just beat Roxanne all by itself. Or all by himself. Level 15! Player defeated leader Roxanne. I just wanted to bask in the victory music. Because this is just so good. This is when this is when Pokemon when the when the when the soundtrack was at its absolute peak in my opinion. So, I lost. It seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon the Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League stone badge. And 1,500 Pokebucks for winning. Zack received the Stone Badge from Roxanne. You got a badge in the case. The Stone Badge heightens the attack power of your Pokemon and also enables them to move... Eh, it also enables them to use the HM move cut outside of battle. Please take this with you too. TM39. Which is for Rock Tomb. It not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, it also lowers speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches the move to a Pokémon. Remember, TM can be used only once, so think before you use it. Well... That went as good as I would have loved it to. <laughs> Whoa! What a breathtaking victory! My cheering must have worked! Great! Check your trainer card! The stone badge you got should be properly recorded on it. In other words, you've climbed the first step on the stairs to the championship. That's gotta feel awesome. In the green moor. Get out! Get out of the way! Ah, Team Aqua again. Wait, please! Don't take my goods! Yeah. Let's chase after that Team Aqua. Oh, oh, it's you. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods. Help me, I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get the Devon goods back. If I don't, I'm gonna be in serious trouble. Hmm, where could he have gone? Okay, Whismer, take the lead. Oh, you know what? I gotta teach a Pokemon Cut. I think I know who to teach it. Well, I, I, well, then again, I shouldn't say it. I definitely have some options. Or at least one option. Goodbye, Puchiana. Thanks for nothing. All right. HM01 cut. Put it up in HM. It contain cut. T 
teach cut to a Pokemon? Yes. Handy. You are able to know cut. That is exactly why I got you. Handy learn cut. Ah, another tailor. Ah. Another Whismer. Get out of my way. <sighs> ah, I already talked to him. All right. Oh, wait a minute. I, I didn't talk to him. Hold on. Let me talk to him again. <sighs> ah, what's going on? I was digging the tunnel without any tools when some goon ordered me out. That tunnel's filled with Pokemon that react badly to loud noises. No, duh, I have a Pokemon that pretty much fits that description. They could cause an uproar! That's, uh, that's an attack that my Pokemon just so happens to have. That's why we stopped using heavy equipment for tunneling! I'm worried that the goon will do something stupid and startle the Pokemon in an, to an uproar! You don't say. This tree looks like it could be cut down. And they use cut! I'd first like to go after that, uh, that Team Aqua Thug first. Oh, what am I to do? We're on our walk, Pico and I. When we were jumped by not Thug, the scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Ah, Pico! I can't scream that loud because it's late at night and I, and I live in an apartment. Don't know if sound panels will be able to fix that. What are you doing? Come and get some then. <laughs> well, you already uh, woke up all the Whismer. I'd rather save it for... this upcoming battle. What am I saying? Oh, uh, ah, I was just about to confront him and I get jumped! Jackass. Run away! Ah, keel hull at all. Keel hull. <laughs> that's a. That's a. That's a. That's that's something I've never heard of before, <laughs> or at least don't remember. That hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless, and I think I made a getaway in this tunnel to nowhere. Hey, you. So you want to battle me? Yes, I do. Team Aqua Grunt. What do you have? A Poochian at level 11. Uproar! Oh! Ho 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 Whismer grew to level 11. And learned Astonish. Player defeated Team Aqua Grunt. Uh, my career in crime comes to a dead end! This plan, this is plain not right! The boss told me this would be a slick, easy job, slick and easy job to pull! All I had to do was steal some package from Devin. You want that badly? Take it! I guess the life of crime just isn't meant for him. Pico, am I glad to see you're safe. Pico owes her life to you. They call me Mr. Briny. Ah, you're the guy with the boat. And you are? Ah, so you are Zack. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage by the sea near Pedalburg Woods. Come, Pico, we should make our way home. Pico! Oh, you got there fast. But now that we. Ooh! 
The goofy goon hightailed out of the hightailed it out of the tunnel. I can go back to digging. I I didn't know you were so happy. Tunnelers Rest House. What do we got in here now that it is available to us? To get to Verdant Turf Town without using this tunnel, you'd have to cross the sea to Duford, sail on to Slayport, and then travel to Mauville. That Rust Turf Tunnel there. At first, we made a huge work crew boring through rock with the latest machinery, but, but we had to stop. It turns out that we had a turns out that we would have had a negative effect on wild Pokémon in the area. So now, so we've got nothing to do but loll around here doing nothing. There's a man digging his way to Vernon Turf all by his lonesome. He's desperate to get through. He says that if he digs little by little without using machines, he won't disturb Pokémon, and he'll avoid harming the natural environment. Wonder if he made it through yet. Wonder if you have something in here for me, but... Doesn't appear that way. Well, now that we have cut, we can cut down this tree again. Good place to train. Trainer tips. Your bag has several pockets. Items you obtain are automatically placed in the appropriate pockets. No trainer can afford to be without a bag of their own. Cut this down too. Handy. Well, we got a double battle coming up. Ewing, Whismer, you're up. I just hope... I just hope I'm not facing any Rock-type Pokémon, or, like, basically Geodude. Just so you know, I've never once been bested by anyone at anything. When you lay your eyes on my Pokémon's gorgeous fur, their beauty will render you helpless! Oh, uh, so you got a Skitty. I, I could already tell- oh, you, oh, a rich boy and a lady. Oh, wow, I'm gonna make a lot of money off beating you. Lotad and Zigzagoon. Both level 8. Both should be fresh kill for me. B-Wing, peck that low tad. Not even a full restore can save you there. Now what? Zigzagoon! Well, and then again, I don't know if you have a... Uh, Then again, I don't know if you have a Skitty or not. Goodbye! Now what do you got? What's last? Poochiana, really? I would have almost certainly thought you'd have a Skitty based on what you were saying. Ah, good old soundproof. It's just two against one. That howl is gonna be your last. No full restores for you. <laughs> Whismer grew to level 12. It's now eight levels away from evolving. And B Wing grew to level 13. B Wing is trying to learn wing attack. Yes! Delete a move to make room for wing attack? You bet. Growl, really? Get out of there. One, two, and poof. B-Wing forgot growl, and B-Wing learned wing attack. Lady Sarah and Rich Boy Dawson were defeated. Oh my goodness, this is a new experience for me. Oh baby, say it ain't so. 3,200 for winning. Alright. What were you protecting? A potion. We got another double battle coming up. Yeah, why not? We all learn- We learn all sorts of things at the trainer school. 
I want to test things out for real. Let me teach you how strong my adorable Pokemon is. Got two trainer school uh, graduates here. School Kid Jerry and Last Janice. Ralts and Meryl. Oh, Ralts. I'm about to astonish you now. Might as well try out Wing Attack on that, uh, Meryl. Don't think it'll knock it out. Meryl's very good defensively, so... Yeah, didn't think so. Ralt should flinch. Oh, Meryl will go first and use Defense Curl. Like it's any use now. Confusion! Uh-oh. Uh, wow, that's a critical hit. Wow, Ralt's really is pretty weak at this point. Get him. Or get her. How on earth did you not flinch? School Kid Jerry and Last Janice were defeated. I slacked off in school, that's why I lost. You're a notch above me! Well, we can finally get to the berries in this one item right here. Cut. What berries are growing here? This pineapple plant is growing taller. Want to water the pineapple with the, uh, Wilmer Bell? Yes, I would. So this thing's gonna become a pineapple, uh, bush. Might as well water this one, too. Plant seems to be delighted. What grows here? Two Chesto Berries. Take two more. And plant two more. Old item that awakens Pokemon in battle. Pineapple berries are an absolute boon in Pokemon Go. Let's water the Chesto, uh, Chesto berry. Plant seems to be delighted. The plant seem the plants seem to be delighted whenever I water them. Ah, <sighs> got neither. All right. Well. Nah, that's... Uh, ooh, that's right, we have to talk to him. Oh, how'd it go? The Devon Goods! You did! You got them back! You really are a great trainer! I know! As my thanks, I'll give you another great ball! Ha <laughs> ha! I should do this more often. Excuse me, please. Come with me! This is the Devon Corporation's third floor. Our president's office is on this floor. Anyway... I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Um, by the way, that parcel you got back for us. Could, could I get you to deliver that to the shipyard in Slateport? It would be awful if those robbers tried to take it again. Uh, <laughs> so could I... So, uh, could I count on you to do that for me? Sure thing. Oh, that's right. Could you wait here a second? Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Please, go ahead. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got word about you. You saved our staff not just once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package to Slateport Shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Dufer Town? I was hoping that you could deliver a letter to Stephen in Dufer. Obtain the letter. Now, you should know that I am a great president. So I'd never be so cheap as to ask for a favor for nothing in return. That's why I want you to have this. Got, got me a Pokenav. That device. It's a Pokemon Navigator, or Pokenav for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of the Hoenn region. 
You can check the locations of of, Duf of Duford and Slateport easily. By the way, I've heard that sinister criminals Magma and Aqua, I believe, have been making trouble far and wide. I think it would be best if you rested up and go on your rested up before you go on your way. All right. Well, that's hack. Go with caution and care. If you visit the shipyard in Slayport, you should go see Captain Stern. Well, the chairman's name is Mr. Stone. <laughs> it's empty. Nothing but trash here. I'm developing new kinds of Pokeballs, but I haven't made much headway. Oh wow, that's a Pokenab! It came about as a result of our president's desire to learn about the feelings of Pokemon. Would you like to describe its features in detail? No, no. I think you'll find out just by trying the Pokenab out. We're developing a device for talking with Pokemon, but we haven't had much success. Neither did Dr. Kaminko in Pokemon XD. This one's also empty. I'm trying to develop a device that visually reproduces the dreams of Pokemon, but it's not going well. Wow. There are a lot of Easter eggs in this game because that is actually an allusion to something that comes around in the Black and White series. Well now, well, now what should, shall I work on developing next? Our company allows us to make our inspirations into reality. One couldn't ask for a better environment as an engineer. I've been trying to develop a device that resurrects Pokemon from fossils, and it's working! Be sure to come by him again. Hmm, let me talk to you. You were in the way last time. Hi there. You're always welcome here. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. I've been developing an added feature for the Pokenab. And it turned out great. Zach, may I see that Pokenab? The one that our president gave you? There you go, Zach. I added a new feature named Match Call to your Pokenab. Using the Match Call feature, you can chat with people who have been registered in your Pokenab. Zach, our President Stone should be registered in your Pokenab. Test it out. Please give our President a call. Go to Pokenab. Match Call. Devin President, Mr. Stone. Oh, Zach! Since you call me, the Pokenab must be working properly. The other people will be registered, so try calling them up too. Good, good. You seem to be quite happy. Huh? How could I know that? It's because I'm looking down at you from my office window. Ha 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 See you again. What you can also do is you could check in on... Or check Pokemon detail. I obviously can't do that yet. Okay, I better get back to work. Please take care, Zach. Let me check it now. Well. We opened our map. That's of Hoenn. Check Pokemon in detail. We get to check on our contest attributes for each of our Pokemon. You got cool, beauty, cute, smart, and tough. Funny enough, this is actually needed. Like I said, I allude I alluded to earlier that uh, that mixing berries is essential to evolving a, a particular Pokemon in this game. Well. That particular Pokemon needs... You need to check this in order to involve that particular Pokemon. Just to make sure. Everyone is just, uh... Bland. Well. That's all the Pokemon has to show us for now. So. I believe we have done everything everything here in Rustboro. We beat the gym. We saved... Well... Actually, no. I haven't done this yet. I do need to get Whismer to level 13. Exploring a cave isn't like walking on a road. You never know when wild Pokemon will appear. It's full of suspense. I haven't checked this place out yet. Route 115 towards Rustboro City. Good place to go fishing, but I want to collect this item. 
Found one super potion! Very nice. And if... Hmm... Is that all for now? Yes. Well, we did everything in and around Rustboro City that we can do at this point. And I think it's a good place to leave off. So, next time on Pokemon Emerald, we'll go meet Mr. Briny so we can deliver the package to Slateport City. Zack Nighthawk, flying out. <laughs>